you're watching our Janesville Women segment. We're shooting on location today at the Rotary Botanical Gardens in Janesville. Such a lovely place to be. We're so excited to talk with them coming up about how it all got started and some of the cool events they have coming up. And you know, this time of year, we're kind of getting into Mother's Day and well, frankly, I like to shop anytime. <laughs> so it's a great time to have you on the show here. This is Meredith Eaton of Garden of Eaton Gifts and Notions. What a cute name, I Thank love you. it. What Thank a, you. What a play on words there. Uh, I was talking to you a little bit and you have such a cool story about how you came to open a gift shop. It's a very family affair. It's, yes, well, it is. Let's talk about that. It is. It's the middle of a pandemic. And uh, I never known what I wanted to do what I, when I grow up, so I thought I'll just go for it. My sister, who's a potter, opened a shop a year ago and it went gangbusters, so I decided to do the same thing. And I decided to make mine a family affair. Garden of Eaton was a name given to me, uh, suggested by a friend, and I went with it and decided to involve my entire family. I have a sister who's a painter, a sister who's a potter, my dad's handwriting has always been brilliant so he literally created my logo for me wow. and the main table in the shop was the table that my mom ate all her meals at that I ate all my meals at growing up oh. and she also says the word notions all the time so gifts <laughs> oh. and notions came from my mom as well so it literally is a family affair with the family name Garden of Eaton. Oh that is so sweet I love it <laughs> and what a talented family I mean get a load of some of this art here and this pottery I've, I've got my eye on this little robot one. That's Isn't so sweet. Cute. Isn't yes. he sweet? My sister comes up my younger sister Beth Eaton of Beth Eaton Pottery in Milwaukee, Kate comes up with all the designs herself and has stamps made. She's even made stamps from my grandfather's original drawings from back in the 30s and 40s. Oh A very limited edition, but then she uses the stamps, hand rolls everything, hand creates everything. She does not use a wheel with her pottery and then hand paints everything as well. That is amazing. Wow. A lot of creativity yeah. in this family. Um, so you've got pottery, you've got plants, you've got paintings. Yes. T talk to us about where the artwork uh, comes from. You mentioned some families that other folks too? Mostly the, um, yes, the, uh, the talent really did come from my maternal grandfather. Uh, he was a photographer, he was a painter, he sculpted, he really could do anything. And then basically, most of the cousins do have some sort of talent. I have an older cousin who is a sculptor. She's done life-size bronze sculptures. A cousin oh. who's a graphic artist. Um, and then everybody just has a wonderful sense of humor and we all get along really great. And that's all part of the family energy as well. Um, we cackle and laugh when we all get together. So there's love and fun and art that goes along with it all. I have an older sister who's a painter and she's been painting and drawing since you could pick up and hold a pen or a crayon or anything. And I have a variety of her work in the store as well. She's working in watercolors right now. This is an abstract that she has. And um, I have a series of what we call blobs. Um, she would hate to hear that. <laughs> but uh, Nina has lived in Italy for 30 years now. And I have a lot of her landscapes. And that's mostly of her oh. yard in Tuscany. Oh my goodness. Mm. What a yard that, too. Yes, oh. yes, the landscape is just beautiful there. Oh, that is amazing. What a, I, Your shop has got such this fun energy, this eclectic fun energy. You said you've, you've also bring in um, little notions, just little knickknacks you find exactly. around. Exactly. I love to travel around and just dig, dig, dig. Um, a lot of people do. And when I find little things, I just snatch them up. And a lot of times, depending on how big or small they're, they are, I kind of hide them in my shop a little bit so that they're peeking out at you and it's just a it's Ooh. a fun little notion that you find this and it's you, you up the treasure hunt factor exactly then. exactly and what services then do you also offer to people well, besides when it, awesome it, products it, thank you <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh, when it comes to plants i love the house plants i've always been good with them i have a green thumb and i am still experimenting and always learning but a lot of people are not good with house plants. So therefore, I would offer services. First of all, if you buy any plant from me and something goes wrong, please bring it back to me and we'll figure it out together. I may just have to nurse it back to health. But if you also have house plants at home that are not doing well or you don't know what to do with them, some people don't even know that they can 
um, trim a plant, take off dead branches right. or dead leaves. Um, it takes too much energy away from the rest of the plant. I offer the services to bring plants um, back to life. I've also started dabbling in kintsugi, which is the Japanese art of repairing pottery. You'll see that in this piece right here. Uh -huh. Broken pieces of pottery are not thrown away in Japan. They are repurposed to show all the cracks in the age, which are, they're cherished in, in the Japanese culture. Oh, and it, isn't that a great metaphor for all yes. of us and our mistakes yes. and, our, and our pasts and our flaws? Our and own cracks and flaws. Makes us into the person we are today. Yes. I love it. What a great way to end the show <laughs> and the segment. I mean, thank you so much, Meredith. Garden of Eaton. Check it out. How, what a great time. What a fun time to show. Thank you. There. And you stick around.